I don't really know how to start this video, so I'm just gonna come out and say it. My first edition base set Charizard card is lost. You heard that right. And what I'm gonna do in today's video is talk about that unfortunate incident. And I know I'm kind of smiling right now because it really is that crazy, but I'm gonna get into that in today's video. I'm also gonna talk about the ongoing issues with the marked for kids aspect that I have been not only myself, but the entire platform has been plagued with for months now, and the problem is still there. But uh, I will be in the background opening up some random Pokemon card products, so excuse me if I am not the most on point when it comes to the guess the energy or basically if I pull something nice. And I'll do my best. I will do my best. And if y'all can do your best, hit the thumbs up button, please. And be sure to subscribe for ongoing updates on my pretty much most prized card that I've pulled being lost. And what I mean by that as I get into some Rebel Clash, which is the newest Pokemon card set, I pulled the card by now over a month ago, and I decided I wanted to get it graded. And as you know, I have Beckett, which is located in the same city as myself, which is great, and I get cards graded there. However, for this time, I wanted to go with PSA or Professional Sports Authenticators, PSA card, whatever you want to call them. They're located in California, specifically Anaheim, California or Newport Beach, somewhere around those areas. And what I did, as I say psychic for the first guess, the energy, I basically uh, decided I wanted to send in there. So I followed all the protocol by going online filling out the form, and uh, I completely will say I am partially at fault here for thinking I could trust the USPS, but I went and mailed not only my first edition base set Charizard at the USPS, but that lovely, lovely Crystal Nitto King that I pulled in the same opening. Now, I only mailed both those cards, but I went to the USPS and of course a very, very secure package and the absolute number one best and safest way to ship with USPS fighting energy. I did everything and it's been almost a month and other than being updated when it was at the distribution center on tracking wise, it has not updated since. I have contacted PSA card because I thought maybe it was sent to them and I got in contact with them. They took a look and no, there was no packages that arrived from myself to PSA fighting energy again. And so I started to get kind of worried because this was supposed to be the safest way updates everywhere you have to sign for it everything and it just whoosh, just making up words there as we get a holographic it just uh hasn't updated so of course i did my due diligence after psa saying they did not get it i of course contacted the usps by putting in a update on what happened to the package no response, absolutely no response from USPS on that. Fighting energy, hey, there we go, patch on back. And then I decided I would try again and I tried again online, nothing, no response. I put a missing packages form, no response. I went into the same actual post office where I had sent the package and coincidentally, the same person that had just almost like weeks before was the one that helped me send the package. They tried looking for it up there and they couldn't find any updates there. So 
They did give me a refund. Ooh, my refund on the package, yay, of a $55,000 potential card and a $1,500 potential card, the Nitto King, uh, Psychic Energy, and I was thankful for that. And the person was really, really nice. Not his fault. And so I, he did give me the Consumer Affairs for USPS. I had called them up and the first person, very, very nice person. However, no updates ever since calling them, called them again, and no updates once again calling them. They were supposed to update me fighting energy again. And at this point, the places that are supposed to be on the lookout for the package are on the lookout. I have managers at USPS's looking around. And of course, I did put an insurance claim in as well for the package because that's very important. But that being said, at this exact point when I'm recording this video, now I don't know when I'm gonna post this video, probably in a, maybe two to three days after I'm recording right now. And as of right now, it's been almost a month fighting energy and there are no updates. At this point, I really, really don't know what to do. And you're seeing me be in this casual state because I know the package has to be somewhere. And I used the absolute safe, what is supposed to be the safest and best service with them. And yes, it's loss. However, it has to be somewhere. But it being almost a month later, basically getting no help from USPS, it still has me worried, but me being my casual optimistic self, I, I hope it eventually shows up to the proper place. Fire energy, because that is absolutely crazy to have not only you pull the best card for Pokemon, Natu, how do you do, but a crystal card as well, and you think you do it safely, and I will absolutely own up to my mistake of even thinking I could trust it going with the safest service allegedly from USPS. And I will own up to that. Uh, and I hope it does show up. But at this point, uh, potentially, what is it? Over $57,000 worth of Pokemon cards, two cards, my first edition base at Charizard, Fighting Energy is lost. And no beads. And I really, really don't know what to do at this point. Um, I will keep y'all updated, of course, uh, but I'm just trying to kind of like hold myself up at this moment because that is a pretty big deal when stuff like that goes wrong. Now, I've never had too much of a problem. Like I've never had a package go missing ever, ever, ever. And I've sent who knows how many thousands of packages and I've never had one missing. So that's why I'm thinking it has to be somewhere but at this point, the package, the cards are lost. And I'm really, really getting worried at this point. At the beginning, I was like, okay, we'll find it. But when fighting energy, you just don't have that much help from the appropriate people. Um, I really don't know who to contact at this point. If there's for some place or a person or a manager or something somewhere, uh, feel free to reach out to me. I would appreciate the support and efforts of trying to locate this package or at least helping me. Uh, that would be much appreciated. But I people kept on asking me about the card and I wasn't bringing it up. I really wasn't saying anything because I was trying to find it. And at this point, I'm still trying to find it. And so there is the update for uh, everybody that was asking me. And you have absolute right to ask me and I appreciate y'all do asking me of like how the grading process is going. Lightning energy, hey, changed it up. But at this point it is lost and I'm kind of just like, really wanted to finally update y'all after kind of holding it in for a while, especially to see if there's anybody that can help at this point. Um, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping casually optimistic that something will turn up because that is a very, very, it's the most expensive card. English Pokemon TCG card. And it's not just that, of course, the Nitto King got to give some love as well. So uh, please, please thumbs up in, in efforts of it finally being found psychic energy. And uh, I'll keep you all updated. But for now, that is that for the first edition Charizard card. USPS has lost the package. 
um, is currently missing, but we will see. As uh, here's the next thing I want to open up. Um, the other issue, which is uh, in a way kind of pales in comparison to the potential $55,000 loss, but at the same time, it has cost it not only myself, but thousands of creators out there. Who knows not only how much, but just peace of mind as well. And that is what I'm talking about. The whole Mark for Kids issue, which as of today, I got I, YouTube reached out. What was it? Uh, yesterday saying that the issue like, thank the same stuff thank you for your patience the uh i love this card by the way uh he's great he's like i'm too old for this even though he's technically younger than you but you get what i'm saying uh very cool looking card um basically he reached out saying thank you for your patience and you've probably saw my what i guess i called down to earth vlogs that i had done maybe about two to three of them updating y'all on the situation because y'all wanted to keep updated um like last month and basically starting in like april fighting energy it was just a complete turnaround of not only channels like this one pokemon card opening channels but different niches and i know there was whole stuff going on in the world and uh, obviously ad re like ad budgets and stuff I'm sure had a big effect on channel performance but when it seemingly happened like overnight it like from here to just all of a sudden bang right after right when quarter two started um, that's when you're kind of just like what's going on obviously as I said before I waited over a month before coming public with it, fighting energy, because I thought it was myself, so I always blame myself first and try to improve. Uh, but that being said, and I did had YouTube check it right when I first thought something was happening. They said everything was fine. And then of course, a month later, when I have them check it again, they're like, oops, you were right. I'm sorry, we're checking on it. Our engineers are working on it. However, it's been like, I didn't even know when I first told you all like over a month ago, they've been working on it for that long. And it is still, the issue is still there and it is still severely impacting not only my channel, but uh, like thousands of channels fighting energy. Some channels don't even, like most channels, obviously they don't watch my video, so they don't know exactly the issue of what's going on because even YouTube hasn't publicly come out and said that that is an issue because that's a really, really big issue going on where it's marking your videos even though it looks everything's fine on the creators and it's marking your videos marked for kids and then it does all the stuff where basically it won't shoot out your video it won't let people comment and some people it looks fine but some people's accounts they show me and they've shown screenshots and i've shown y'all screenshots before leaf energy it oh that was oh basically that was an evolution spec <laughs> And uh, I've shown you all screenshots before as I get into some more packs over here. Just a bunch of random packs. Um, it showed that it was not working for a bunch of accounts. So they showed me screenshots. I showed YouTube's the screenshots and stuff. That's when they finally were like, okay, we're going to fix this stuff. We're going to look into it. Engineers are working on it. You were right. Water, energy. And so that is where we are currently at right now. And I do appreciate all of you who do show up. Uh, at my usual time when I post, ooh, lose the main prism star, Suicune GX, very nice. Uh, but I appreciate y'all. I usually post videos Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturday, and Sundays at 1 p.m. Central, 2 Eastern, right at that time. Been doing that for over a year now. Uh, I don't even know how long. And so I do appreciate Otis oh, Evolutions. Got to be careful here. No guess the energy. I do appreciate y'all showing up at that time as well as ringing the notification bell for what it's worth because that really does make a difference of when y'all show up the first hour of when I post or basically just the first 24 hours. The first hour is very important, but also just showing up, you know, the first 24 hours of a YouTube video is very, very, very important. So I do appreciate y'all, the Heart Squad, for doing doing that and helping support my videos as well as the other smaller creators as well that you enjoy watching uh, because we're all in this together to try to get past this fairy energy and so that's it basically what i want to do is try 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 to uh you know i keep getting updates and so keep updating y'all out there and just hopefully it eventually gets fixed now i've done what i can 
to just keep on bringing the heavy heat with the videos of opening up rare packs, vintage packs, tons of new packs, trying to be very, very creative, lightning energy. And uh, I appreciate y'all watching and I will continue that because this is the hashtag road to a million where we are on the way to a million subscribers and it would be unfortunate. Oh, wow. Hyper rare Articuno, beautiful looking card. Wow. Uh, okay, getting a little distracted there. Uh, Road to a million, basically, uh, be doing a bunch of fun stuff, not only just for myself, but for charity as well, coming up in the near future for mental health, of course. Leaf energy and patch on the back. You can give one too. And so I'm really hoping things just kind of get fixed. But as always, it's all about the community. And I do appreciate y'all for. Uh, sticking through the hardships of everything going on, um, you know, sticking through with everything going on in the real world and still making time to watch my videos because that really, really does mean a lot to me. If y'all taking the time out of your busy days and with all the crazy stuff going on right now, psychic energy, oh, I did it wrong again. Just coming out and watching my videos. All right, I'll be careful for the next two. I told you everything wouldn't be on exact point here, but I'm trying. This is Evolutions. So those are, as of right now, uh, both the updates of my card being lost, both cards, the first edition Charizard. Hey, and speak of it right now, a Nitto King Reverse Rare, the Crystal Nitto King from Aquapolis that I pulled in that same video. That is also missing, lost by the post office. And then I also hope, I mean, like, at least I want one thing to happen, right? It's like, fix the platform or please, please find my cards. Obviously, I want my cards to be found. But at the same time, you know, I like creating content for y'all. And I like y'all actually being able to see said content. So I appreciate y'all listening to me today. Um, psychic for the, yes, the energy. I believe this will be the final pack and Latias Prism Star is the final pull on a creepy Bennett. So, Heart Squad and everybody else, I appreciate y'all watching today. In the meantime, please, please click on those videos right now and I hope you enjoy them. My name is Lean Heart. Stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I'll see y'all in the next video.